Hello boys and girls. I hope everyone is off to a great week. In today's music lesson, we're going to learn about musical periods in history. We're going to focus on the Romantic period, 1820 through 1910, a period of music that emphasized passion, drama, and emotion in music. Here you can see a timeline starting with the medieval period, the Renaissance period, the Baroque period, the classical period, the Romantic period, the Impressionist period, and the modern period. We're going to quickly go through some examples of the different periods in time, starting with the medieval period. The medieval period, 800 through 1450, a period characterized mainly by music of the church and traveling poet musicians. The Renaissance period, a period of rebirth from 1450 through 1600, where new experimentation in music, art, and literature took place. The Baroque period, Bach, Vivaldi, and Handel were prominent musicians during the Baroque period. The Baroque period, a period of history, 1600 through 1750, that emphasized fancy music, art, fashion, and architecture. The classical period, Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven. The classical period, 1750 through 1820, a period of music that emphasized the balance, order, and simplicity. And now the Romantic period, passion, drama, emotion. The Romantic period, Wagner, Brahms, Schumann, 1820 through 1910, a period that emphasized passion, drama, and emotion in music. I just won a year's supply of Gertrude and Pete Boggs Power Strength Hair Wax. Gertrude and Pete Boggs Power Strength Hair Wax. And you're excited? Very excited. How excited? So excited. Are you sure you want to put this on your hair? At least 8,000%. Well, go and smear it on your hair! <laughs> Okay, so how did you lose it, and what does it look like? Well, he's so big. And color? Gray. Name? <laughs> Brian. I said I would watch him for Aunt Twallop, and now he's run off. <laughs> oh, it's so... <laughs> Sounds like an elephant. Well, then we don't need Quayvale. We need... Tarzan. <laughs> what uh, is a Tarzan? Well, you know. Uh, oh, please, 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 please. I'm trying to think if I have seen an elephant. Don't talk to me like that. Like you, what? You, oh, you know what you, you, I you didn't need to you know exactly what you said. I just wanted to meet you. Please, no, quiet, no, please, no. please, you know exactly what you said. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, this guy's driving me crazy. Man, there's so much emotion and drama in the shop today. <laughs> Excitement, sadness, and anger.
the romantic period. Man, all that drama and emotion in the shop, it reminds me of a new period in music called the Romantic Period, 1820 to 1910. We've had the Baroque Period. All that fancy stuff, trills, turns, appoggiaturas, apoggi, appoggiatura, apoggi, appoggiatura. We've had the Classical Period. Neat, ordered, simple, balanced phrases. and great melodies, and Mozart and Beethoven. <coughs> you mean Beethoven and Mozart. <laughs> now, it brings us forward to the Romantic period. <laughs> A period of great <laughs> emotion. Not just love, but happiness, Woo! sadness, <laughs> and <laughs> anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Romantic period. Music with emotions and drama. What was the world like in the Romantic period? The Romantic period was from 1820 to 1910. It was a period of great <laughs> emotion. Abraham Lincoln was the president of the U.S. during the Civil War and the tallest president ever. That makes me happy. That's not even including my hat. Vincent Van Gogh, the great painter, was born, and later in life, he chopped off his ear. What did I do that for? Men wore suits with long coats and had enormous sideburns. <laughs> Ladies wore really bulky dresses, which must have been so annoying. Ugh. It was the period of steamboats. Railroads expanded like crazy. They were so much faster and easier transportation that they left the horse in the dust. Poor horse. Oh, brother. And Alfred Nobel invented dynamite. Then he nearly blew himself up. Oops. No way! Such a nice man! Oh. I was joking! So that's what happened in the romantic period. I'm so happy now. Romantic music expressed itself in loads of different ways. It was quieter. Pianissimo. And louder, fortissimo, than any music before it. <laughs> Everything was more. Composers use more notes. Bigger chords. Quieter pieces were more delicate. The louder pieces had more volume. The orchestras were bigger. Everything was more, more, more. It was like supersized music. In fact, if the romantic period was a cake, it would have been the biggest cake of them all. The music was louder, longer, and more dramatic than any music before it. Here are some of the greatest romantic composers. romantic composers. Number one, Tchaikovsky. A man who got married and immediately left his wife. I do. Hello, cutie. Hey! See ya! Come back here! That's not very romantic. Number two, Schumann. He invented a finger muscle machine which injured his finger so he couldn't play piano anymore. Ow! Counterproductive. Number three, Brahms, who had an enormous beard. Number four, Wagner, who was like a rock star of today. He had loads of girlfriends and money. Look, there's Wagner! <laughs> 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 
but no Learjet. As we know, the Romantic period was full of emotion. On my table are four boxes. Denzel, Roberta, lift the lid and you'll hear music for four seconds. And all you have to do is feel that emotion and then draw a face. Ready? Denzel, give me a number. Box number three. Box number three. Go! The music stopped. Denzel, how did you feel? I felt sad. Sad? And Roberta? I felt melancholy. Melancholy? Ooh. OK. Roberta, your choice. One, two or four? Box number two. Box number two. A good choice. Ready? Feel that emotion! <laughs> and stop! <laughs> Roberta, how do you feel? I felt scared. Scared? Ooh. Denzel? I felt angry. Angry? Ooh. OK, Denzel, give me another number. One or four? Box number four. And feel that emotion! Boom! <laughs> And stop! Denzel, how did you feel? I felt really happy. Cool. Roberta? I felt happy too. Happy too! Excellent! So did I. Romantic music. It was full of emotions. Happy, sad, angry, afraid, all kinds of things. No time for box number one. Quick! To the phone box! What do you think about this last one? I don't know. Open it. No, you do it. You do it, chicken. <laughs> that made me happy. <laughs> never look in box one. The, the old cream pie joke, it never gets old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the quaver, sometimes that guy just cracks a beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I love this. It looks tasty, too. Splat. <laughs> sit with me so we can talk about football. Hey, can I sit with you guys? Because I like what's in your sandwiches. Oh, please, can we sit together? I want to sit over there. This is ridiculous. Fortunately, Carl Maria von Weber, a romantic composer, came up with a seating plan to solve this where to sit problem. <laughs> My orchestra diagram! <laughs> right, thanks to Carl Maria von Weber, we now have a seating plan. Yeah. Think of it as musical chairs. Shall we? So there we have it. The Romantic Period Orchestra. It was much bigger than the Classical Period Orchestra. More violins, more violas, more cellos, more basses, more brass, valves on the trumpet. Let's hear this supercharged, romantic, dramatic, romantic orchestra. Hit it! Remember, the Romantic period was full of emotion. The orchestra was so much bigger, and they even wrote a diagram to show people where to sit. Famous Romantic composers, Wagner, Tchaikovsky, Verdi, Schumann, Brahms. Composers wrote massive pieces for loads of people. And Tchaikovsky even wrote a piece for two orchestras, brass band and cannons. 
Did someone say Canon? Must be Tchaikovsky. Romantic music, emotion, and all that. Ready? One, two, three, fire! Marvellous. The romantic period. I love it. Ready, men? John! It's been a very emotional day in the shop today. Let's see how everyone's getting on. <laughs> Jason, how's the hair? It was hair remover. Oh. Now, here's a piece of music that combines famous piano pieces by romantic composers and the house band. Let's do it. The first piece is by a great composer from the Romantic period called Schumann. It started out in 1820 when A change took place in music that wasn't felt till then More happy, more sad, more anger and more love Composers wrote with feelings till then they hadn't done Romantic period, put a little passion in Romantic period, put a little feeling in Some bronze Romantic period, put a little passion in Romantic period, put a little feeling in Some Schumann The Romantic Period, 1820 to 1910. Emotion, drama, and feeling. 